Hi, here's another example about converting to polar coordinates and using double integral. I do have the bounds given to me, which is going to identify the region. And I have a function inside, so we're not dealing with volume or uh, anything else. We're just going to have to use polar form because of that nature right here. Square root of 2 minus y square. Let's get started. Here's the problem. To write it down, I'm using different colors, as you could see, to stay focused. dx inside with x1 equal y and x2 equals square root of 2 minus y square. And the problem is says y here, but that refers to x. Because the inner bound will refer to the inside uh, dx and the out uh, limits, the outer limits will refer to dy. So that should be y1 and that should be y2. Now, let's look at the region and identify it clearly with the bounds. If x equals square root of 2 minus y square, we could square both sides. We get x square equals 2 minus y square. And we could move the y square to the other side and I have x squared plus y squared equals 2. So comparing this to x squared plus y squared equals r squared, that means 2 equals r squared or r equals square root of 2. That's a circle with a radius of square root of 2 centered at the origin 0, 0. That's what we have. Since this is my x1 equals y and x2 equals, it's kind of hard to integrate and plug these uh, expressions inside. So that's the reason why sometimes we need to convert to polar coordinates. This is my x1 equals y. That's uh, like y equals x, 45 degree. And this right here will be part of a circle since it has the positive side it is what we have right here on the right side so next if you do the math they will intersect at 1 1 and the region is clearly shaded right here in polar coordinates what do we have what do we know about r r goes all the way to square root of 2 changes from 0 to square root of 2 and theta doesn't go all the way around it goes from here to here and y equals x makes a slope of 1 that's a slope of 1 rise 1 and run 1 which is a 45 degree so r goes from 0 to square root of 2 and theta goes from 0 to pi over 4 45 degree now let's start a new slide and we'll take care of it Let's take this and integration to the new slide. This is what we have. This is a graph. In polar coordinates, we have the following. It's a much better integration to handle and deal with. Notice I'm using different colors. I want to keep this in blue with respect to R. So sine theta, cosine theta, they act like constants at this moment. Simplifying r times r times r or take r here first out as a common factor and multiply by r. Of course, I replaced uh, x by r cosine theta and y by r sine theta. And that's how we go to polar form from x, y uh, rectangular coordinates. Now, if you notice, if I factor this, that's going to be r square because r will go out right here and multiplied by r will be r squared multiplied by open parenthesis cosine theta plus sine theta. And that is two factors. One talks about r and one talks about theta, which means another way to simplify is break down to the, the integration into two separate integrations with a product in between. This is what I mean. That's the r squared that I keep talking about. When you take this r and this r out as a common factor, 
goes up front here multiplying it by this that gives you r square we talked about r goes from 0 to square root of 2 and cosine theta sine theta from 0 to pi over 4 with respect to theta that's simple math the main thing is how do you change this to polar form that's the main step knowing your bounds that's a major step too okay let's finish the problem r square becomes r cube over 3 and cosine comes from sine because the derivative of sine is cosine uh, sine will take you back to minus cosine because the derivative, the derivative of cosine is minus sine we're missing a minus so we should have a minus up front with us uh, sine pi over 4 45 degree is right 2 over 2 cosine pi over 4 is right 2 over 2 that should be symbol to calculate that cancels then plug in 0 here and here sine 0 is 0 and cosine 0 is 1 so I have 0 minus 1 on the second uh, part of substitution plugging in right 2 here to simplify it and show you the math it's like square root of 2 being cubed differently it's a square root of 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 and this here will give you square root of 2 square which is 2 that's one way to see it symbol so that's 2 right 2 multiply by 1 third and everything here is minus negative 1 which is positive 1 so the final answer is clearly 2 right 2 over 3 and that should do it it's uh, less than 7 minutes clear notes as you could see I try to make it as much as a uh, as I can in less time and that's why I call my videos lecture notes with examples writing this on a whiteboard will take away more than seven minutes but at least you could see it organized with two different colors and clearly uh, we could approach the answer with simple integrations the main thing is converting the rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates by knowing your region and your bounds 0 to right 2 and 0 to pi over 4 and I want to thank you thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time thank you